from our last video we can agree upon that a linear regression line is not a suitable if our outcome is binary so for this we need to explore few more options let's look into what different kind of functions that we have and we can try to fit so first is polynomial can be fit into 0 and 1 it doesn't seem so can we use the gaussian function looking at the diagram i don't think so if we look at quadratic function it's asymptotic it's passing through minus 1 minus 3 and 6 this also doesn't seem to be a good fit a exponential function it's asymptotic in some way so we cannot use this function also sine function it's fluctuating between 0 1 and minus 1 we cannot use it because it's not stable at 0 or at stable at 1 we want a function which is stable at 0 or either stable at 1 double exponential function not really because it's not going through stability is not in one direction logistic function now this seems like a fit to some extent we can use this function because it's if we imagine our zeros at this place and once over here we can just definitely use this function with a little bit of modification in outcomes let's see how a logistic function would work we have yeses on the bottom nos on the top or zero as bot at bottom and one at top so if we try to fit a logistic function or logistic line, this this is how it would fit like. If somehow we can compress this part and remove it or find a way to differentiate from there, we can find a decent function which is at least be better than a linear function or a linear line to classify our yeses and no or predict our yeses and no. So a logistic function, why would we want that? We want a model that predicts probabilities between 0 and 1, which has to be a shaped kind of thing because this is 0 and 1. If we try to go between 0 and 1, it has to be a S shaped function. So we will use a logistic function. What logistic function is? A logistic function can be derived from a linear regression function. If we try to use the power of mathematics, of ma magic of mathematics, we can convert the linear regression line into finding the outcome in probabilities, which would be between 0 and 1. If we look at over here, beta naught plus beta 1 x1 is our linear regression line. So, if we have just converted some mathematical operations, we have converted into giving us outcome between 0 and 1, which are probabilities. So, we have converted it like this which is exponential of beta over of naught plus beta 1 x1 divided by 1 plus exponential of beta naught plus beta 1 x1. So using this mathematical formation, we would be able to utilize our even the linear regression fitting into a logistic function. Logistic regression output. In logistic regression, we try to predict the probability instead of direct values 0 and 1. Why is binary? It takes only two values 0 and 1 so instead of predicting directly 0 and 1 if we try to predict probability of 1 or probability of 0 the things might work out so this suits you to apply for binary categorical outputs like yes and no win or loss fraud and non-fraud because we all we need to find is probability of one class to be true logistic regression line we will do a small lab where we will take the product sales data which we also took in our previous video and we will build a logistic regression line between age and mine and we will try to predict a few values using that line